Welcome back to my channel. My name is Claudia and if you don't know me, um, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to film my What's on my iPhone XR 2020. Now, first of all, if you didn't watch, you should go and watch it now. I, um, I've done the unboxing of the iPhone XR and I will leave it in the eye somewhere here. I don't know. So first of all, um, if you didn't watch the video, this is an iPhone XR in black. Wait, it's like this without the case and yeah it's, it's really nice i really like it oh my gosh i'm, I'm activating a jillian wing in my case i just put this um picture of this surfing guy i don't know i found this on pinterest and i printed it a while ago and after i have this case which i will show you on it's from kazetify and quite this is the case and i really really like it actually and yeah and this is like with the protection it's very nice and I will leave the link down below of, of it. We'll just start recording my screen and yeah, just let's get started actually with this video. I moved here so you can see the screen here. So basically my lock screen is this word called serendipity, I mean is this word serendipity and the meaning of it and it says finding something beautiful without looking for it. And I really really like this word and I decided to put it in my background. Background it's this wheel and i took this from pinterest and i don't know every basically every background everything is from pinterest is my inspiration thing and i just decided to put it here because i like the color they will really, really like not pastel but kind of so we're just going really fast in the virtual lines of the like phone screen so we have gmail calendar clock photos camera app store setting weather notes maps of course and after I have all the apps. Okay, I have a lot of apps, but my phone is pretty much organized because I don't want the mess in like folders and yeah. So uh, except for two uh, apps that I like to keep it there because they're really like fast and I really, I used to use them every day actually and now I'm not, but I'm still like uh, putting them there because you never know. So the first one is Monzo, Monzo is my bank and it's pretty useful actually because I all my money are there. After I have CMapper, CMapper I used to use it kind of every day because you put it there place and it's good to go, I mean you're good to go, you know exactly how much time you will take by walking or uh, I don't know, taking the tube or the cab or whatever by bike, I mean it's pretty useful. And yeah, so now we're going to the folders. So the first folder is Tube, and in Tube, it's, I mean, it's self-explanatory, I have all my YouTube things, I have YouTube, YouTube Studio, Authenticator, basically don't think about AdSense. After I have YouTube Studio desktop version, but it's like um, a link and that I added to the screen, because it's like, in the YouTube Studio app, there's not everything, and sometimes I don't want just to turn my laptop on, um, just because watching this so i prefer to have it here after i have youtube tracker after i have my social folder and in here I have instagram pinterest snapchat twitter tiktok and, and all these apps i'm claudia's way so you can go wrong with it after i have google duo which i call my mom mostly with it because she thinks it's better i don't know after i have rave rave is such a cool app actually basically you can connect with your friends and watch i don't know netflix youtube um for example click on the plus in the bottom right and you have all these apps you can watch netflix prime video youtube would drive reddit i don't know karaoke and everything and it's really cool basically what you can do is you can comment during watching it or even like uh, record yourself live it's not like a recording but it's just you press the recording button you start to talk during the video it's not like you record your voice so it's really cool actually after i have urban dictionary because sometimes i find online i don't know things that i don't really know what means so i go there and sometimes i'm even randomly just in i don't know after i have facebook which is 
personal and yeah after that goodreads goodreads is really really nice and after that messenger always private is for facebook tumblr claudia's wave and house party is with my friends it's so cool basically with this app you can play games so basically like you can see here there is heads up trivia chips and guac and quick draw quick draw i think it's the funniest one that we do with our friends basically you have to you see the word you have to draw uh, draw it and the people uh the, the other people has to guess them so I have to guess it, so it's really fun. After I have movies and TV, which um, is my life basically. No, I'm joking, but yeah. I have Disney Plus and Netflix Prime Video, um, Chromecast, which I don't use now, but when I go home in Italy, I use it. After I have Apple TV, Mega Vezi.st, which is like a streaming service. Basically, you put all the links from your websites, like streaming websites especially like pirates so i'm gonna recommend you use app but yeah basically you put all the links so it's easier for you like to look at movies and tv shows after i have utilities that is actually it's not utilities is not utilities but yeah i have voice memos compass calculator messages files find my iphone news translator slides reminders my gift gap my gift gap is, is basically my phone card after i have Tether, which was the wi-fi extension but i don't use it anymore after i have mail from apple but i don't know actually why i have all these mails if i don't use it after i have win3 because i also use my italian sim card sometimes after i have, after I have measure because if I, I don't have actually a real mm, method after I have pages and how to get a driving license in England because I wanted to see and after I have Edge which is a browser and AccuWeather I use it sometimes just to check the weather instead of the weather, the Apple weather but yeah after I have travel which is kind of my favorite of course I have Ryanair of course the airplane Sky Scanner Sky Scanner is actually really good I really recommend you basically it finds you the cheapest flight and hotel and everything so yeah i mean i don't know if i should recommend you for now but in the future of course after I have Santander cycle higher it's the bicycle over the city and lime is basically the same thing but it's i think it's expense more expensive and actually i think they are on the same level but lime are the electric bikes and Santander are just normal bikes that you hire so yeah and after i have uber which has been my lifesaver here in london and especially at night after a nightclub and after i have google maps just because i think it's better than apple maps after i have london it's this folder which all the things especially i used to use this a lot especially um during the year when i used to go out with my friends basically we were seeing the latest trends and things that were on the city and in fact the first three like um apps are for that tickets dies and dusk after i have some apps for looking for houses because i'm planning to move in august or july i have to see and i have spare room and after i have time out which was the best app here in london to discover new things every week and my london is a news app on what happens in london or in uk after I game trim, right move and property body, which are all like for house renting and um, buying houses and stuff like this. Actually, Gumtree is also for like um, it's like an eBay, but not. I don't, know, I don't know. You can find a lot of things here. After I have the, the folder shopping, which is pretty full. And here I have Spock. Spock. After a group home, which is amazing. If you don't know this app, it's a lifesaver. Basically, you uh, find a lot of deals in it, especially, I don't know. I first downloaded this app because in September I wanted to do my nails, things that I've never done. But after discovering new things, I got like a, a, a 10 pound bus tour with this and here in London, which is really good for 10 pound. And you can find a lot of deals. And I think it's not just in London, I think it's I think it's all in other countries. After I have Amazon, eBay, Apple Store, Royal Mail to track my parcels, John Lewis, Cazetify, Dorothy, per Dorothy Perkins, Shein, Asus, Lalalab, which is the printing photos. I actually have, uh, I think, two videos on my channel about it. After I have Hermes, which is like Royal Mail for tracking parcels. Um, after I have some links 
after I have a yume, which I don't know exactly what it is. I I don't know. Sometimes I don't load apps, but I don't know what they are because I found them on Instagram, for example. And after I forgot to look at them because I I can I, I, tell me it's not just my problem, please. After I have Curry's PC, which is like a technology shop, a free prints is like la la la, and after they have Zaful. Um, after I have the uh, folder jobs, I was thinking to be a nanny while starting here, so I'm just giving my option open, of course. I have Backup Nanny, NHL, NHS jobs, childcare, and after I have Indeed jobs, LinkedIn, and Fever jobs, and I mean, it's all like job things. After I have Elf, and here I have PC just to control my period, I have Elf and NHS app, which is the doctor to check my GP. After I have Java Zafrano, it's basically an Italian uh, app with recipes that it's a lifesaver, trust me, it's really good. And if you know a little bit of Italian or if you just want to translate it, I mean, it's really good. I think Deliverer um, is just to deliver you food, walking and step ups steps up is basically the same thing just to count your steps and like some better me are just thing to like calculate when you eat or like uh like some is to eat especially and better me is to workouts and challenges and after i have chill wings after i have editing and here i have canva facetune facetune is uh, to widen my background because it's really good Canva is for Instagram mostly and also I use it for YouTube sometimes. After a Visco, Fonto, same for YouTube, Fonto I use it for YouTube. After a Google Photos, and if you don't know this and if you're like having problem with the space on your phone, I really recommend you to download this app. Basically, I have a backup until um, 2018. Basically, I have all my pictures and I can easily like delete them from my phone and I will still have all of them It is in photos in this app. It's a lifesaver. I really recommend you to download it. After I have Planoly, which is really good because you can plan like your Instagram feed. After I have Lightroom and you know what Lightroom is because it's very famous, just editing the pictures. After I have iMovie and clips, shortcuts, film or go. Uh, these are all like video editing uh, apps. After I have Camera Connect, which I'm connecting to my Canon. Uh, after I have Scene, Unfold and Story Shake are all for like Instagram stories. Unfold is the best one, I think, but it's, you have to pay and it's not really good for this. And yeah, after I have Quick Shot, which I just downloaded it, I'm still experimenting with it. Basically, you can like remove people from pictures, you can remove things from picture, and you can edit them, you can make filters. It's really good. After I have university, which I still didn't start a university, but um, yeah, I'm just preparing for it. I have numbers, uni days. Which is the second folder because I'm so excited about this. iTunes U, Keynote, Course Match, Drive, Office Suite, Excel, uh, after some links, and uh, Unibody, and yeah, some just links. And I passed my English exam, by the way. After that, in the second page are the, let me say, uh, the apps that I use less. And um, here I have games that I use it when I'm really bored. And I have really nothing to do. And I have Sonic Boom, Pac-Man, PR, Majon Crimes, Roy, Ryman Mini, Spider, you know, The Sims, Scrabble Go, Rumi Cube. Rumi Cube is my favorite. Bubble Shooter, yeah, just you put music and you start shooting bubbles. Piano Tales 2. Uh, Impulse is really fun because it's not fun, but it's like it's an app to like keep your brain working kind of in words too i'm really with scrabble words to and pills i'm really trying to keep my brain working and yeah maybe i could do like favorite app favorite games video i have music and in music i have shut down because of course i mean when you hear a nice song you want to know it music which i'm currently using actually and instead of spotify because i don't know i I, I have the free trial and I wanted to try and these are my favorite song at the moment my L-O-V-E by Nat King Cole is really cool I have this meal because sometimes I'm trying to be a singer of course after that I have music X match which is really nice and the thing that I was thinking now actually about 
uh, about uh, Apple Music is that you have already the lyrics. So it's really cool. Instead of Spotify, it doesn't have it. Um, it doesn't have it. So yeah, after have you listened an MB3? Uh, there are like mm, these are apps that basically are connected with YouTube, and you can play. But actually, MB3 is really bad. Because when you shut your phone, it shuts like YouTube, it's not, you can just make playlists with it. But you listen, it's better. After I have the folder money, in here I have wallet, Emma, which Emma is really cool. Basically, you can control your, not your spending, but it tells you like what you spend. And the thing is, basically you can go into your subscription to see which are active or inactive and it's really really cool after and it tells you like every week your weekly report of your spending which is cool after I've transfer wise is where when I'm transferring money and and after I've post to pay which is kind of my Italian card account and after I have the last folder is news which because I really like reading news I really like to stay up with the news I have fanpage.it which is an Italian news thing after I have Quora and it's basically just for asking mainly Sky News and BBC News are yes and after a link of a news and yeah and the last thing that I'm going to show you are the apps like at the bottom which are the of course the calls Safari Spotify and WhatsApp and which is I use most I mean I use it most than the messages so yeah guys this was the video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find some new apps that you maybe didn't know about and if it's like this, please put a thumbs up and comment down below which app you just discovered or if you have some app suggestion or some apps that you're really obsessed with lately just let me know because I really love discovering new apps and if you still didn't see the unboxing of this video and all the things just go and see that I will leave it in the eye but also put a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to my channel also follow me on my social media I'm Claudia's way basically in all of them but my most used are Instagram, Twitter and Pinterest so yeah guys remember to smile every day of your life and we'll see you in the next video bye